you tell the story of a, of a person of an emotional journey as the way to then sell the product that you're ultimately selling. Super. So how, how have you and the team used, let's say workflows or, or, or automations in your campaigns to really nurture the client relationship? Great question. Uh, again, through storytelling, right? So when we sell the course, for example, right? Um, the course and the coaching program, there's a journey of telling the story of, of Ryan and how by joining, joining this, um, you'll, you'll be able to get a part of that too, right? It tells the story through our email drip campaigns of how Ryan came to New York City, wasn't able to figure it out at first, right? Started his first year in real estate, making just over $9,000 a year. From there, he was able to figure out, he figured out the process and the systems. And we talked through our email marketing campaign about that journey until finally the most realized self is think about you, you know, 80 years from now when you're 80, what is that 80 year old you going to look back and say, I wish that I had done now. And it's always, right. There's always one answer, especially in this, in sort of this, this brand um, knowledge product marketing. It's always, I wish I had done the work now. I wish I had put in the time now because when you're 80, you're not going to be thinking about the hardship that you have now at, at, at in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. You're going to think about all of the great things that came from the work that you put in back then. Now, you can change that. You can use that same exact storytelling structure for any product that you're selling, right? If you want to talk about, about houses, it, it's, um, try, it's helping the client